Hey there, what's up? Coach Brian coming at you from criticalbench.com. Thanks for tuning in. And I'm sharing some information with you on how to stretch your quads using the PNF stretching technique. I've got my trusty little resistance band here. I'm going to be using this to go through two type of quad PNF stretches that are guaranteed to increase range of motion, flexibility, and also decrease soreness and possibly even improve some performance within those quads of yours. So the PNF stretching technique is a, this a contract, relax type of stretching. If you're not familiar with it, go back, watch some of our other videos, and uh, learn how to better PNF stretch. Now, again, PNF stretching, you have to warm up properly, especially the quads. Quads are usually tight. Uh, so make sure you warm up properly, get the body ready for action, and then you're going to attack these PNF stretches. Um, also, with that said, is PNF stretching is more advanced. So if you're be just starting out uh, to exercise or stretching, I say stay away from this until you've progressed more and you're more comfortable and more able, to, uh, better in a better position to move and go through these ranges of motion. Enough talk, let's get to these two stretches. First one is a kneeling stretch. It takes a little bit of work to get into this position. What I'm gonna do is wrap my foot with the band here, okay? I'm gonna go into my single leg lunge stance or uh, yes, single leg half kneel. From this position, my hip is extended. If you need to hold on to something, that's completely fine. I'm trying not to, that's okay though. So from here, I'm stretching. Here's my static stretch. I'm gonna contract my quad, so I'm gonna flex my knee, or excuse me, extend my knee, and relax, pulling a little harder. Do the same thing, flex my quad, extend my knee, Relax, stretch. Now as you can see, I'm slowly getting uh, my heel closer to my butt here. Let's do it one more time. And relax. Okay? A lot of work there. Uh, I already felt it on those last, oh, those, those three stretches there. Um, take your time going in this one. Again, you're only applying about 50% contraction with that quad. You're only going into pushing that band about 50% of your max effort. Again, this is a uh, sub-max voluntary contraction of that quad. So take your time easing into it, and then your quad will naturally start loosening it up. The second exercise is pretty similar. You're just changing the position of your body. Going down to the floor, prone position, same thing with the foot. Okay, right here. This is a little uh, easier on the back and also the knee. So the same principles apply. Okay, I'm stretching. Now what I'm gonna do is try to extend my leg, flex the knee at 50%, relax, pull. Okay, do it again, 50%. Nice and easy, relax, pull. Stretch it out, relax, pull. Okay, pretty simple, okay? Now to advance this particular stretch, start picking the knee up off the ground. I'll show you what that looks like right now. Stretch, pull. Stretch, pull, okay? That second, or that, that advanced version is definitely a lot more challenging. And you're gonna start hitting uh, those hip flexors there, your psoas um, and all that good stuff in this particular area. Awesome stretches. Again, I can't stress it enough that you have to make sure you're warmed up properly to get these done right. You don't want any soft tissue damage. You don't want to strain any tendons or ligaments, things like that. So ease into it. But I guarantee if you do these two stretches, your quads are gonna thank you. And uh, you're just gonna feel a lot better going into whatever you're gonna go into with your training.